Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm still gonna do like my regular tarot video uh, today, but before I do, I wanted to show you my Trader Joe's haul because I don't really spend a lot of time like hanging out with you or talking to you about other things apart from like my astrology life and my books. And yeah, so I just wanted to show you everything that I bought and there's a lot of pumpkin spice. I think everything is actually pumpkin spice. Also, I got this plant at Trader Joe's and I'm honestly so excited about it. I think it's so cute. It's so pretty. Uh, I don't know how to take care of it, so I'm going to have to research that. So here's everything kind of laid out. Um, I'm just going to like kind of read everything to you. Um, I have this non-dairy maple beverage. Okay, I have this pumpkin spice cream cheese, which I'm super excited about. I've not tried this one yet. I have this cinnamon bun spread. It's kind of blurry, but excited about that too. I got pumpkin rolls, which I have not made yet. I got pumpkin spice hummus. This actually tastes like pumpkin pie batter. I don't know. It doesn't taste like hummus at all. It's like a nice dessert hummus. I'm pretty sure it's vegan. Um, and then gluten-free pumpkin spice bagels. Uh, I got pumpkin ravioli. This one has like cheesy kind of filling. Honey roasted. Just looks really good. I got these last year, pumpkin cranberry crisps, and they're pretty good. Um, they're really good with the pumpkin spice hummus, 1010 would recommend. I got some pumpkin pecan instant oatmeal, which I'm excited to try because I saw uh, someone else, Steph Papas, I think, uh, try it, and it was really good. Pumpkin blondie brownie, which everyone's talking about, but I have not had yet. Um, another pumpkin oat beverage, which I think is kind of like the maple beverage, except like they just are like creamers for coffee. Um, I got this pumpkin walks into a bar, which is like pumpkin, um, kind of like little protein bars or breakfast bars. And this is so cute. And the little chocolates, um, harvest collection chocolates. So cute. What else did I get? Oh yeah. Pumpkin ginger mini hold the cones. These are the best. I should have actually gotten more, but I was trying not to like overdo it because I kind of already did. <laughs> and then um, I got the pumpkin overnight face mask, which I'm really excited about. It was only $6, you guys. It was really, really cheap. Um, and then pumpkin bisque, just, you know, a little like fall soup kind of thing, even though I live in Nevada, Las Vegas, and it's like a thousand degrees outside. Pumpkin alfredo sauce, which I wanted to pair with like this pumpkin ravioli. Um, you know, just you never have enough pumpkin. Um, where is the pumpkin spread? I had a pumpkin spread somewhere. I'll find it in a second. Pumpkin butter, which I think will be so bomb with, oops, let me get you a better shot of this. And excuse my messy room. This is the reality over here. Um, yeah, pumpkin butter, and uh, I think that will be good with the pumpkin rolls. And then I also got this creamy cashew pumpkin spice yogurt. Um, I did get a Greek yogurt that's pumpkin as well, but I try not to get, like, dairy yogurt. I just feel like more digestive issues with it. Um, let me see if I can find the pumpkin uh, spread really fast. And then the pumpkin spread. I don't know why my camera is so blurry. Hold on. This is the pumpkin spread. I finally got my camera to not be blurry. Um, and it's so cute. It looks like a little jam. That's so cute. The packaging is really nice. Everything was, I mean, I got way more stuff than I should have. Honestly, this amount of stuff, plus like the random other things that I picked up that aren't really like, kind of boring, so I didn't want to show you, like I accidentally kind of slipped this body butter in here. This isn't the seasonal one they have. But yeah, I got like enough that could have easily been like three to four hundred dollars, but I cashed out with like one fifty as the total, which is again really cheap considering how much stuff I got. So yeah, I just I just wanted to show you because I was excited about it. Um, I'm going to go put the stuff away before it melts, and then we are going to jump into your tarot weekly predictions for the week. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Or welcome. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I am Milk, and this is Milk Astrology, and today we're going to be doing another weekly tarot video. Cardinal signs first, because I have it already kind of organized. So I have Five of Swords, which is kind of interesting because I feel like it's maybe representing some kind of conflict where you're bumping heads with someone, or you're like not seeing eye to eye. I do have Knight of Cups, so it's kind of, 
you know what i feel like it's you know when you like have something working out for you but you're secretive about it because you're scared of like how other people are going to respond it's almost like you're not trusting your direct environment to like be supportive or uplifting of you because i also have two of pentacles reversed so it's kind of like your money like you're maybe you're spending too much money or maybe people are like trying to I don't know, like maybe your coworkers are getting jealous of you or something and they don't want to see you moving up. I feel like there's some kind of like evil eye, evil eye kind of tension, drama surrounding this. Because I have seven of swords, so I feel like you're being a little stealthy. I feel like you're pulling back and being a little bit secretive, uh, perhaps unintentionally. Um, but I also think you should really question yourself this week. If you have to be secretive about things that you should be excited about, maybe you should be altering certain things in your environment. Um, I also have blue slate, blue, blue lace a gate. So uh, find your calm. Uh, you need to be more centered and more focused on like what is going to. I don't know. You're very nervous this week. The energy is very much like you're trying really hard to procure your bag or you know focus on your job, but you're being like secretive and you're looking over your shoulder a lot. There's a lot of paranoia. So you have to figure out why you're so nervous, who's making you so anxious and like what you can do to maybe readjust that. On a positive note though, I really do feel like you're having some kind of breakthroughs with your job. You're definitely excited about something that you've been working on for a long time. Um, but I definitely think you need to question like why yeah, why are you so anxious about something that you should be excited about or celebrating? And then I also have the Oracle card Forgiveness and Understanding. So maybe this is a week where like you notice you're keeping to yourself more and then it leads you to have conversations with people or prioritize like getting something off of your chest that you weren't expecting to, you know, have a conversation about. Um, I really just think that you need to talk to your loved ones and be more like upfront about your expectations or your boundaries because you're kind of uh, prioritizing other people or other people's issues over what you need. It was a very brief to the point video. I think this was like a three minute long reading, but you know me, I'm very blunt and to the point and I don't like to, you know, keep you here for 25 minutes. Um, so if you like that, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Mutual Mu mutual signs yeah so if you are a gemini pisces virgo or sagittarius this reading is for you and you should apply your moon sign but you can apply your sun moon or rising i just think that the moon sign will be the most accurate i got this light uh, this like ring light and i'm like sweating so if you just see me like dripping sweats because um there's a ring light now i feel like you're trying to break out of a cycle that you've been in for a while um i have the Hermit and I have the hanged woman reversed so I feel like you've gone a little silent and you're actively realizing okay um, there are certain things in my life where my needs are not being met uh, maybe I don't like my job or maybe the people that I'm around aren't necessarily the best or the most supportive for me um, and I think you're kind of noticing that or you're taking steps to begin bettering yourself However, I feel like you're still, again, like trying to do everything on your own. You're trying to like shut down. You're trying to bottle up your emotions. You're not really uh, letting your loved ones in or like you're not really uh, explaining like, what's bothering you or what's going on because I feel like you're so focused on doing everything on your own or doing everything like by yourself. Uh, however, I have Nine of Swords and Six of Wands. So I feel like if you're not careful, people are going to be like misconstruing you or taking you the wrong way because I feel like you're kind of you know when you're anxious so you like project a reality like you're like oh everyone's out to get me and then like you begin to like act kind of suspicious and then people begin to act suspicious because of that so it's kind of like a domino effect I feel like you have to be careful about isolating yourself because you're kind of unintentionally making situations more uncomfortable than they have to be I think it's okay to break out of your cycle and break out of, you know, go into a new direction. But I do think you're psyching yourself out a bit more than maybe it actually should be. Like, um, you don't have to isolate yourself. You definitely need to talk to your friends and lean on your loved one. But I do think that you need to adjust, like, uh, I don't know. You can make small changes without having to tackle, like, moving mountains right off the bat. Like, you don't have to overwhelm yourself. You have to kind of slow down. Because um, I feel like you're psyching yourself out and you're just stressing yourself out. I also have Unikite, live in the now, so I feel like that's very fitting because that's exactly what I'm kind of telling you is to pace yourself. And then I also have self-acceptance. 
Um, there's a lot of anxiety because it's like you're uncertain about what you want to do next, you're uncertain about who you want around you, and that's totally normal, that's totally fine. But you have to be careful of like, um, I don't know, I feel like when you're centered yourself and when you know who you are and you know who you're not, it's easier to not feel so like anxious all the time around other people or like expectant of some kind of shoe to drop. I think you just have to be more, I don't know, maybe spend more time like relaxing and reaching out to people that you feel comfortable with. Uh, take it easy this week, I guess <laughs> I would say. Overall, that completes this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. This reading, oh wait, hi guys, this reading is for my fixed signs. If you are a Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio, this reading is for you. This is kind of one of those like really interesting weeks where, first of all, you're like really impulsive right now, like you don't want to sit still. Um, I think you're just like on the go constantly. Um, I think a lot of your attention is actually going towards your love life this week, like more so than your career or anything else. Like you're just very focused on like maybe someone that you're talking to or that you really like. Um, however, like you have to make sure you're not getting consumed by this, um, especially because fixed signs, you guys are stubborn and you guys are clingy and when you guys have your mind made up you don't really let go of things um but you need to make sure that you're not losing your sense of self in some kind of relationship or in some kind of situationship you can like someone without like losing who you are in the process and that's something that you need to keep in mind on a positive note though i do have the lovers and eight of wands so there's some kind of like situation romantic interest and there's an immediate resolution so maybe you jump into a relationship this week maybe you have a really great date or maybe if you've been in a long-term relationship for a while you guys are just vibing you know getting along you know so uh that's positive and then i also have princess of pentacles reverse and nine of pentacles reverse so <laughs> You're spending way more money than you should right now. Um, I definitely feel like, <laughs> you know, I guess you're so focused on your love life or you're so focused on having fun or having a good time that you're not really focused on anything else. Um, I just think that you need to make sure that you're not putting more on your credit cards than you should. So you should probably reel that in this week. Um, I also have Four of Cups and Ace of Swords reverse. So again, I really think as much as I definitely feel like you're going to have a great like love week, you need to prioritize yourself as well. You need to take care of your mental health. I feel like you're like forgetting to eat and sleep and drink water and like basic human needs. So you need to prioritize that. Um, I also have harmony and resolution. Um, so again, I definitely feel like you're having a really peaceful like time with your loved ones. But I also have amethyst, which is trust your intuition. So again, I really just think that... You're allowed to prioritize yourself in the process of other people, other people's expectations of you. You might be having a lot of fun, but I definitely think the people that are healthy for you are not going to be like okay with you not prioritizing your own basic human needs at the same time. Like, if someone's not noticing that you're not really okay, then that's kind of a red flag. Um, but yeah, so basically you need to prioritize yourself in the process of this and watch your money. <laughs> so that's basically this week for you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.